this is Sean welcome to guitarreferenceguide.com in today's lesson I'm going to be taking you through a jam track that I created to learn how to play in the key of G the chords are going to be G D E minor and C that's the first part of the tune the second part of the tune we're going to have an A minor we're going to have a C we're going to have a G and we're going to have a D if you look at uh, guitarreferenceguide.com under jam track, the jam track is going to be there and I'm also going to have a PDF of the chord progression and I have PDFs of all the different scales that we're going to talk about. So this lesson is going to be breaking down this, this song in the key of G and learning how to play through it. So the first thing that you want to do when you, when you play through a tune is you want to figure out the key of the song. This song is in the key of G, like I said. So the first thing that you'd want to learn is your, your G major pentatonic scales. Yeah. So the G major pentatonic scale sounds like this. It sounds like My Girl in The Temptations. That's a good way to think of it in terms of sound. So the first thing you'd want to do is learn this scale in a couple different parts of the neck. This is the most common one, I would say identifying the G's within the scale and then in the first position playing 3rd fret, open 2nd fret, open 2nd fret, open 2nd fret, open 3rd fret, open 3rd fret and there's my G, open G and there's my G. So that would be the first step. So play the jam track, play along with it using the, the G major pentatonic scale. Start with those two positions and then work your way from there. So in other words, after you learn the position here, start at the third fret and learn this position, the second position, and then the, then the fifth fret, then the seventh fret. And within each one of those shapes, find where the G note is, and that's, that's a good place to resolve your notes when you're soloing over something in the key of the G. So the next step that you'd wanna, you'd wanna try would be learning the other notes in this scale and also when you're playing over this progression saying okay well I have a purpose here I'm trying to play over this chord progression what are the other root notes of the chords so the second chord is a D so now you would do the same thing with the G major pentatonic scale within the scale you would look for the D where's my D there's my D there's my D there's my D there's my D learning the D note in each of the positions. And then what would be the next chord? E minor. Here's my E note. There's my E note. And then what would be the next chord would be C. Ah, there's no C note in the G major pentatonic scale. So guess what you would do? You would just add it. You would just add that note to the scale. So now instead of it being like this, you would add the C to, to get that note in there when the C happens in real time, when the progression's playing. Starting with just the root notes. It was by D, E, C. My G, my D. There's my E. There's my C. Same thing here. There's my D. Where do I have to get now? I have to get to my E. There's my C. G. There's my D. There's my E. And there's my C. Now that we've gone through the first part of the chord progression, we're going to go through the second part of the chord progression, and we're going to do the exact same thing. The, this part of the chord progression, we have an A minor, then we go to a, D, a C, then we go to a G, then we go to a D. It's coming up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. My A note. C, G, 
My D. A. C. G. There's my D. The next thing would be to learn the diatonic scales, your major scales, your basic major scales. Fancy name for the G major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So I would learn it. To start, I would learn it in the first position. And then I would come up here to where we were playing the pentatonic scale. Now these two scales are very close. The pentatonic scale is a five note scale. One, two, three, four, five. Now the only thing we need to do to a G major pentatonic scale to turn it into a diatonic scale is add the fourth and the seventh. So if I went one, two, three, four, my four is C, five, six, seven, my seven is F sharp. Now if I do the same thing from here, here's my pentatonic scale. One, two, three, four, I'm adding my fourth, there's my C. Five, six, seven, there's my F sharp. And then there's my one again. So now I have my diatonic scale. Now what? Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the diatonic scale. I'm on the E. C. G. D. C or E? C. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do the same thing. There's my D, E. There's my C, G. My D. E, C. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Please sign up for my newsletter, guitarreferenceguide.com. And I hope this helped. And go to the jam tracks, guitarreferenceguide.com, and you can play along with them. And all the source material is there, the scales and everything else. Have a great day.